Have you ever wondered how hackers operate? Welcome to an intriguing exploration into the world of hacking. This journey aims not to encourage illicit activities but to broaden your understanding of cybersecurity. By delving into the tactics employed by hackers, we can better arm ourselves against potential threats, fortifying our defenses in this ever-evolving digital landscape. Hacking isn't just about breaking into systems, it's about understanding them, inside and out. It's a game of strategy, a continuous dance between offense and defense. It's the art of exploiting weaknesses, the craft of turning the ordinary into the extraordinary, and the science of pushing technology beyond its limits. Our exploration will uncover the techniques, the tools, and the mindset that define a hacker. It's about knowledge, creativity, and above all, responsibility. So, are you ready to dive into the mysterious world of hacking? Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Becoming a hacker isn't as simple as it sounds. It requires a blend of technical skill, creativity, and a deep understanding of how computer systems work. Step one in your journey to becoming a hacker is to learn a programming language. Why, you ask? Well, programming languages are the building blocks of the digital world. They're how we communicate with machines, and as a hacker, you'll need to be fluent. Languages like Python, JavaScript, and C++ are great places to start, but don't stop there. The more languages you're familiar with, the more tools you'll have in your hacking toolkit. Next, you'll need to understand operating systems. And no, I don't just mean knowing how to navigate Windows or Mac. I'm talking about a deep, under-the-hood understanding of how these systems work. This includes grasping the file systems, understanding process management, and getting to grips with user privileges. The Linux operating system, with its high degree of user control and open source nature, is particularly popular in the hacking community, so that's a great place to start. Now let's talk about networking. The internet is a vast interconnected network and understanding how data travels through this network is crucial. You'll need to learn about protocols like TCP IP, how data is packaged and transferred, and how to interpret network traffic. This knowledge will be invaluable when it comes to identifying vulnerabilities in a system. But here's the most important thing, ethical hacking. It's crucial to remember that hacking isn't about breaking the law or causing harm. Quite the opposite. Ethical hackers, often referred to as white hat hackers, use their skills to find and fix vulnerabilities, strengthening cybersecurity and protecting users. They're the good guys, the digital superheroes, if you will. So you see, Hacking isn't about breaking the law, it's about understanding the intricacies of digital systems and using that knowledge to find and repair vulnerabilities. It's about being curious, being creative, and above all, being ethical. What tools does a hacker need? Let's explore. First up, we have Kaylee Linux, a hacker's best friend. This is an open source operating system filled to the brim with pre-installed security tools. It's like a Swiss army knife for the digital age offering everything a hacker needs to probe, test, and infiltrate systems. Next, there's Wireshark, a popular network protocol analyzer. This tool is like a microscope for data, allowing hackers to inspect what's going on under the hood of a network, capturing and analyzing every packet of data that flows through it. Finally, we have Metasploit. This powerful tool is a vulnerability scanner, exploit tool, and payload system all rolled into one. It's used to identify weaknesses in systems and then exploit them. But remember, these tools are double-edged swords. They can protect or destroy. The choice of use lies in the hands of the user. We've covered a lot of ground today, haven't we? Let's quickly recap. We began by introducing you to the intriguing world of hacking, a realm that's often misunderstood. We then moved on to the steps to becoming a hacker, which include learning coding languages, understanding computer networks, and mastering the art of problem solving. It's not all about breaking into systems, but rather it's about understanding how systems work and finding ways to make them stronger. And of course, we also talked about the essential tools of the trade from well-known software like Metasploit and Wireshark to concepts like VPNs and proxies. But remember, the intention here is not to encourage malicious activities. Ethical hacking is a crucial part of cybersecurity, helping to identify and fix vulnerabilities before they can be exploited. And that wraps up our journey into the world of hacking. Remember, the goal of learning these skills is to enhance cybersecurity, not to compromise it. Stay curious, keep learning, and always use your skills responsibly.